Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and welcome to the last review of Energon Week. This has been one wild ride, well, with most of the del deluxe powering Autobots, apart from Toe Line, because I don't have them. But, I figured that we'd end this thing with a bang. And by that, I mean... The Energon Constructicons. Starting off with Steam Hammer. So, as you can see, Steam Hammer is supposed to be an Energon version of Scavenger. Although, he's not called Scavenger because Armada had a character named Scavenger. But anyways, just have a 360 of this guy. Here we can see that he's like a an excavator or a digger, depending on like what you rather call it. He's rather easy to spin. Here we can see something that looks like what we've seen on the other del deluxe Autobots, but this guy is not able to combine with them because this guy is actually a Decepticon. Although he still does combine, you'll see that in a moment. Articulations mode is the the bucket can move. I can open up sort of, and it can turn up the treads. Now, if we look this up, <laughs> you'll see what that heads for soon. That's pretty much it for scavengers, or not scavengers, steam hammers, vehicle mode. But, not, I'm not just going to transform it right now because, well, I actually have the packaging. I actually have steam hammers box. That's amazing, isn't it? So here we can see it says steam hammer, power link combiner. Powering battles, here we can see him in his robot mode. C5. Turning that around, we can see Steam Hammer himself fed his combined form. Constructicon Maximus. No, not Devastator, unfortunately. Here we can see the other members that he combines with. Sledge, Dust Storm, Wide Load, and Bone Crusher. And I actually have all of them. So, the, the underneath is pretty much nothing to write home about. Yeah. Now, before we get this guy transformed, I'm going to do a comparison with another excavator transformer. In this case, Armada Hoist, who is actually my latest Transformers pickup, as I got this guy only a few days ago at the time of recording. So, expect, a, expect a, a review on this guy soon. Here we can see that these guys are two different types of, well, excavators. Oh. Here we see that Steam Hammer's bucket is more facing the full one, and with this guy, of course, it's more, you know, actual ex excavator. Also, Steam Hammer can't do that. And we can see that this thing's sort of loose on the steam hammer. If we just get, if we just get hoist out of the way, let's get to this guy's transformation. And well, it's very unique. We take these flaps, uh, unpeg them, and fold them out like so. We take the treads and move them 180 degrees, not 360 degrees, like I said in Optimus Prime's video. We take the thing, well, we take the back half and move that. The legs move and a, a little bit word of warning. Normally, if you get steam hammered, the the treads actually misassembled because, as you can see, the tr like the tab is supposed to be here, but on normal copies of the figure, the treads are misassembled. So this so this treads on this side, and that means the that means the pegs are up here. But I've actually managed to sort that out myself. It's rather easy. Just unscrew the treads and just swap them around. We take the feet and move them. And then just swivel the legs. We'll, we'll tap the treads in. Like so. We'll 
take this arm, move that. And we'll take the bucket arm, move that out to the side, and then just have that form its entire left arm. And normally, what I do is I lift the cabin up, then move that tab back and move that up. And here we have Steam Hammer in robot mode. So, yeah. Here we can see that Steam Hammer pretty much has the entire bucket as his left arm. Sure. I mean... Eh. Now, I, I don't know what else to say, so... I'll just... I'll tell you a fun fact while I get Hoist here transformed for a robot mode comparison, so expect to hear a bit of noise in the background. So, in Japan, this guy was actually named Scavenger. So, yeah, Takara did the right thing and actually named him Scavenger because, well, just like how Downshift and Energon looked like Wheeljack, but wasn't named Wheeljack because of, because of an Armada character, this guy looks like Scavenger, but is not named Scavenger thanks to Armada Scavenger, who I've actually re re reviewed. I didn't bring him out. I didn't bring Scavenger out for whatever reason, but I actually do have Hoist out for comparison, and here we can see that Hoist's excavator bucket is on his right arm, indicating that Hoist here is left-handed. So, yeah. That pretty much does it for Hoist. Let's just have a look at Steam Hammer's head. Sorry, that was a bit too up, up close. So we can see that his his face is actually coloured orange, and unlike Scavenger, he actually has a mouth. Or unlike G One Scavenger, this guy actually has a mouth. Unfortunately, we never got to hear him speak in the Energon cartoon as, well, the only time the scavenger actually appeared by himself in the cartoon was in one episode where it appeared with Barricade, who was Bruticus's torso in, in, in Transformers Energon, along with Stormjet, who was Superion's torso. But, anyways, articulation, the head doesn't move whatsoever. This entire this entire arm moves. You can technically T pose, although this arm is being an arse. Technically, he can T pose, although it's asymmetrical. This arm has an elbow. It's got sideways elbow action, and that can also move up. He actually has waist articulation. This guy. Legs can move up on that hinge, and he's technically got knees while his transformation. And he can do the splits again, like some other figures we've reviewed. Now, normally I would end the review here if this was like a normal figure, but well, if you remember earlier, I said this guy can combine, and let's just let's just introduce. Well. These guys, here we have Sledge and Bone Crusher. Now these guys are just recolors of each other, so pretty much the same figure, only recolored. Because Energon did that with the with the Scramble City Combiners. They had the main torso and two limb bots, but two more, but uh, two more, but they were just the same. They were just the same. Figure, but with a different color. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show off. I'll, I'll show off Sledge, or in Japan, Scrapper. So we have the back, and we have this ripper thing indicating that this is a tractor, technically, although it's a front end loader. You can see this, and this is actually an Energon Crystal Pour, and this is the Decepticon Crystal. I don't have any Autobot Energon Crystals though, because I, I don't have any Omnicons or Aerial Bots, so... 
underneath. Oh, and I realized that's this combination port. I forgot to flip that. But that's pretty much it. So if we get this guy transformed, we remove that. This transformation is rather crazy. We take the back wheels and we lift them up like so. Then we take that this entire thing and just move that like so. With the bucket. And instead of even want to read that G1 scrap, you can just do that. But that's not how it's official. That's not how it's officially done for the combination. But we take the bucket and move that. The wheels actually. Without like so, so if you want to have like a hovering front loaded, then go ahead. We take that, move that around, turn out the waist, and get that plugged in. And then we take the these bits and actually fill in the little gaps there. And that's Legend is robot mode. Then I'll just. Do the same with Bone Crusher off camera. So, and while I get Bone Crusher transformed, here's a, here's like, a, well, here's a fun fact about these guys. So you saw how crazy Sledge's transformation was, and that transformation was actually reused in the Cybertron toy line for a character named Hardtop, who wasn't a front end loader but instead a beach buggy similar to G1 Beachcoma. Although, yeah, pretty much it was the same transformation, although the robot looks sort of different. But anyways, here we have Bone Crusher in his robot mode, and it makes me wonder, why did they keep the, this guy's name as Bone Crusher? They changed the names for all the other guys, like this should have been Scrapper, Steam Hammer should, should have been named Scavenger. Why did they just keep the name Bone Crusher? If anything, they could have called those guys Scoop or something. Dude, oh well. Now, if we just give these guys the weapons, as you can see, this can flip out, and that can be a handle, so... If I put that in Sledge's hand, that can be like a, a, a reaping weapon. And then with Bone Crusher, what I, what I do with him is, I I put this on, on the underneath of his hand, and then I just fold that up and I move his arm out so it's sort of it looks like a hammer because these could these could be the bits that pull out the nails so it looks like a hammer it could be a steam hammer <laughs> okay I'm sorry you can go ahead and leave me a hate comment now go ahead just type type the letters KYS in the comment section but anyways let's have a look at the heads So, if this will focus, you can see that Sledge's head looks like a, the typical head, although it has that eye thing on his forehead. Oh, sorry. I have no idea why. And Bone Crusher, it's like Thanos because he, his face is purple. Oh, now I just got my phone to focus. If it will, come on. There we go. Now for articulation, I'll show, I'll show Sledge. I'll put Bone Crusher off in the distance. For our articulation, uh, I can actually swivel. His arms can move out so he can T-pose. This can move up and down. Got the waist rotation. Beautiful spread, so you can do the split. Moves out like so. Moves back, back, moves back that far, and he's got knees. So yeah, quite poseable. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. My mum technically walked in, but don't worry. Let's just get back on track. Here we have the cranes, dust storm, and wide load. Why they didn't call one Hook, I have no idea. Then again, they probably didn't have the the rights for that name. But yeah, that, there's just two crane trucks, just like Hook from G1. Only Dust Storm here has a weird blue color scheme. And well, that's just... Yeah. 
And if you hear footsteps, my mum's adding something to my room, but she's promised to not speak during this, so... <laughs> so, articulation, if we just unhook that, this can move up, the crane arm can actually move, and this can open. And this actually detaches, as that forms a claw, and we can technically see a hook. So, to get this guy transformed, what we do is, we take the back bit of the crane and just move that like so. Move that bit down. With the front of the crane, move, move down like so, so it forms legs. Yeah, like so. Split it like so. Take this, take this back flap and move that down. Move his head like so. And then just... Orient the the cab and the crane arm so it forms a robot arm and well that's pretty much dust storm and why do these guys always have long arms like a normal arm and one freakishly really long arm I mean that's just creepy but for dust storm we'll just leave that on there as a claw and if I just get wide loads transformed. I worked that they need a wide load, even though he's not a dump truck like the original wide load was. <sighs> so, fun fact in Japan, Dust Storm here was named Long Haul, and Wide Load was named Gren, which was actually Hook's Japanese name. And I just nearly got this guy into his robot mode. Just need to put the claw into his hat. Into his and then here we have dust storm and well that's rather yeah we just i mean these guys are rather weird i mean they have decepticon symbols on their crotches plus the, the, the long arm and, and their torsos are actually rather bland looking but let's just have a look at the the heads And we can see that these guys actually have light piping where the there's a, a thing at the back of the head that sh the light can shine through to show glowing eyes. Show glowing eyes. This is where my tongue stops working. But anyways, showing wide load, we can see that his face is sort of more boring because it's not colored red like Dust Storm's face was. If we'll even focus, there we go. Now if my phone will focus, we'll try and go for an entire group shot. So we'll just get steam hammer. Get sledge and then just get bone crusher ready. Sorry, I was I was, <laughs> I was foreshadowing that this video is rather long. Anyways. Here we have the Anadron Constructicons, or as they're officially called, the construction team. And well, if we just get all the, if we just get everyone apart from Steam Hammer in their vehicle mode, so just bear with me as this might take a while. And so just bear with me as you hear the ratcheting of everyone. Now to pass the time, here's another fun fact. In our in Japan, Armada Scavenger was actually named Devastor, which was which was the Japanese name for G1 Devastator, which of course meant super late they couldn't just name the combiner Devastor. So they named him they named him Buildrun, which was actually the Japanese name for the G1 Constructicons. That pretty much translated into America and Europe, where they just named him Constructical Maximus instead of Devastator Maximus, which I will never understand to this very day. I mean, with Bruticus and Constructical Maximus, they got to keep their original G1 names. I mean, come on, I mean, with, with Bruticus Maximus, we only had a missile truck, a tank, and a... 
helicopter. We never even got a we never got a space shuttle or a jeep in Energon. At least with at least with Bruticus. Meaning that in like they had the names meaning in Japan they had to make Swindle and blast off into a tank and a helicopter respectively. But this isn't about Bruticus, this is about Constructicon Maximus. So, I'm just getting selection Dust Storm into the arms. If you want to skip to the part where I get to the combination, then go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. I mean, technically I can't even stop you, so... If you want to just skip to the bit where I combine everyone, then go ahead. But first of all, I need to show you something. If you want to move the combiner bit down, then just put your finger in there and there you go now if you wanna now in the Energon cartoon there was a there was a part where Superior Maximus in, in one episode Superior Maximus actually managed to kill Constructicon Maximus and used the construction team as limbs and thankfully you can actually recreate that as the as you can, the ports that are used to combine everyone's, it's all universal. So if you want to use, like, I don't know, Bruticus's limbs on Steam Hammer, then you actually can. And I've managed to get everyone into their limb modes while pinching my finger. Ow. Pretty much, all it, all it took was just putting everyone in their vehicle modes. So, nothing special there, but anyways. To get Steam Hammer into his combined mode, what we'll do is tuck the head in. We'll move that back and we'll just move that up quickly. We untap these. We actually move this forward and untap that and it just plug, plugs into there. We actually fold both arms into that cavity, and with this arm, we actually turn that and well orient it so that's actually showing on the shoulder, and it doesn't have to turn that around. Then take these and just uh, try and get them back up, as if try and get these guys fold them in, up into themselves to reveal these combiner. Ports, and I'll fill up the head last. So, if I just get Bone Crusher and Wide Load, uh, and I plug them in, plugging in Bone Crusher is always a pain in the arse to do. Oh, there we go, I managed to do it. And I'm going to have to raise the camera, so bear with me. I'm going to use Tyson's Return Astro Train's box to help stand my camera and some Legos and even a Creo Transformer stand. What, what we'll do now is just uh, attach on Dust Storm, then attach Sledge, and then fold that flat back and. Here we have Constructicon Maximus! Whoo! This is a big one right here, I mean... Like... This, like, this is the first time in quite a while that I've had to use something to stand on my camera because the figure was just really tall. We haven't had to deal with that for quite a while because most figures I've been reviewing recently have been just deluxe sized or at least Voyager sized. So let's have a 360, hopefully while I'm collapsing. You can see the back of the treads, and that's just... So yeah. I try not to cover the microphone. So we have Wide Load and Bone Crusher... <laughs> Wide Load and Bone Crusher as legs. And Sledge and Dust Storm as the arms. And Steam Hammer as the torso. 
So yeah, this is one big boy. Now for articulation, head can move like so. Technically he can T-pose on these ratchets while they combine the ports. This arm can move up. This arm can also move up. He's got new knees, thanks to the combined ports. Sadly, there's no far articulation, but can, these arms can technically open and close if you want to. That's pretty much it. So yeah, pretty much that's it for my review on this guy. I mean, first, before I see my recommendations, here's a nitpick. As I said, I hate how they didn't even devastate a Maximus. I mean, that's pretty much what this guy is, an Energon version of Devastator. But, eh, anyway, before I go off on a tangent, do I recommend this guy? Well, yeah, sort of, because, well, as you can see, the color scheme for this is rather garish. I mean, sled, wide load, and steam hammer are, the, are a typical Constructicon green, although only steam hammer has the correct color of green and purple, whereas with bone crusher and dust storm, they instead have a blue color scheme and even a generation two yellow color scheme. Now, if you don't, if you like, like say, say you really want this guy, but you hate the color scheme, then, well, Classics actually recolored this guy into a version of Devastator where this guy was called Scavenger. This car, this guy was called, I think, Scrapper. This was Long Haul. This was High Tower, and this was Bone Crusher. And I've even repep I've even repurposed as Energon versions of Scavenger, Scrapper, Hauler, Scoop, and Hightower. So I renamed Long Haul to Hauler, and instead of Bone Crusher, I named him Scoop. But that was the classics recolor. So if you if you like the if you like this guy but you hate the color scheme, go for the classics one. But if you but otherwise, yeah, this guy's fun, he's cool. Cool homage to Devastator. But that's pretty, that pretty much concludes my review on this guy, finally, after God knows how long. This has been my review on Constructicon Maximus, and this is Charlie Young, signing off. And with that, Energon Week has concluded.